Back, the House Select Committee to investigate the January 6th attack, continuing its public hearings. Today's testimony focusing on the results of the 2020 election and the Trump campaign's claims of election fraud. News 12 Connecticut Sean McKay with more on what was said. Donald Trump lost an election and as a result of his loss, decided to wage an attack on our democracy. When somebody an makes a statement like that, that there was an attempted to overthrow our democracy, then you better have evidence to really demonstrate that. Professor Gary Rose of Sacred Heart University says he'll be glued to the TV all week as the House January 6th committee paints its picture of President Trump's role in the insurrection. They came to Washington, D.C. at his request. They marched on the Capitol at his request. Today's hearing focused on showing Trump knew he had lost the 2020 election when he was promoting fraud claims with testimony from Trump Attorney General William Barr. I made it clear I did not agree with the idea of saying the election was stolen and putting out this stuff, which I told the president was bull****. As well as former Trump campaign manager Bill Stepien. I didn't think what was happening was necessarily honest or professional at that point in time. So yeah. that led to me stepping away. It's become increasingly clear that the president absolutely knew that he lost this election in no uncertain terms. Professor Rose says if the committee hopes to make criminal charges against the former president stick, they'll need to show hand in glove involvement with the insurrectionists. They are insinuating that that did happen and that evidence eventually will show this. And so I certainly am waiting to see that. He says the hearings are unlikely to move the political needle as voters focus on inflation ahead of November's midterms. The cost of a gallon of milk and those real bread and butter issues, I think, are still going to be the, uh, the main issues. Sean McCabe, News 12, Connecticut. Well, the committee's next public hearing, scheduled for Wednesday, members say that hearing will focus on the pressure they say President Trump put on the Justice Department to claim fraud in the 2020 election.